Hello, and welcome to our DogBiz Pro feature video. In this video, we will be explaining the very basics of what DogBiz Pro can offer your business. DogBiz Pro is designed to help you manage your dog training, dog daycare, or dog boarding business without spending a lot of time learning a new software. We offer a number of different modules inside of the software for each of the main service areas. For example, whether you're scheduling classes, private training appointments, or events, that can all be done right inside of the training module of the software. If you deal with therapy dogs, we also have a therapy module which is dedicated to scheduling therapy appointments. We also offer a daycare and boarding module where you would navigate to in order to schedule or view all your daycare and boarding appointments. So again, you are able to create and schedule a number of different services inside of the software. The admin module of the software is where you can first set up your basic information and create those services that I had mentioned earlier. For example, if you were to navigate to your admin module setup tab, getting started in basic information page, here you could set up your company name, your company address, your logo, etc. You are also able to create and edit existing users, employees, and locations from inside of this getting started tab as well. In order to set up those services that I'd mentioned earlier, you could navigate to your admin module setup products and services tab in order to start setting up those services. From inside of this tab, you can edit existing or create new packages, classes, private training signup options, therapy signup options, daycare signup options, or boarding signup options. So again, once you have those services created in the admin module, you could then schedule those services inside of the appropriate module. So if you wanted to schedule a class, event, or private training appointment, you could navigate to your training module calendar tab, or you could go into the appropriate tab for that service and click on the schedule button. And from that schedule dropdown, you could choose a class, event, or private training appointment. You're also able to choose a specific date from the calendar and click on it, and that same dropdown would appear as well. If you wanted to schedule a therapy appointment, you would just want to navigate to that therapy module. And from inside of the therapy module, you could again click on that schedule button and actually schedule a therapy appointment. If you were wanting to schedule a daycare boarding appointment, then you would just want to navigate to that daycare boarding module. And from inside of that daycare and boarding module, you could again click on the schedule button and you could choose to schedule a daycare or boarding appointment. And again, the same from the calendar. And you could also navigate to those specific tabs in order to schedule those services as well. Once you have your services scheduled, and if you wanted to allow online registration for those services, you could navigate back to your admin module. And once you're inside your admin module, you could click on the setup tab and navigate to that online registration tab. From inside of the online registration configuration tab, you're able to set up all of your online registration settings for clients and all of your other services. You'll notice that many services have their own separate tab. So if you're wanting to set up something specific for private training, therapy, daycare, etc. Those all have their own online registration setting pages. Inside of this section, you're also able to set up registration messages, which would show throughout your client registration portal. So if you wanted to have custom messages show throughout the client registration portal when the client's going through the registration process or when they first log in, etc., you could set that up here. Inside of this section, you're also able to create your own registration forms as well. Custom registration forms would allow you to gather additional information about the client. So if you wanted to ask specific questions at the time of account creation or registration, you're able to do that using custom fields and custom forms. So again, you're able to create your own custom client forms and dog forms. And if you wanted to create a new form, you would just click on that new form button. You're actually able to attach created custom registration forms to specific services. So during the registration process for that service, the client would be able to fill out that assigned custom form via your assigned waiver. And they could even make online payment towards this registration as well, assuming you have online payment set up. So again, not only are you able to just manually register clients for services, but they're also able to register themselves online for any available services that you are offering. So if you were to navigate back to the configuration page, You'll notice that we have a separate section for payment and inside this payment settings section you'll notice that we currently offer integration with paypal authorized.net or bluepay so if you had set up integration with one of these services 
that would allow clients to make payment online right at the time of registration or on any existing invoice. If for some reason you had questions about a specific charge or just about a client's account in general, then you're actually able to look up your clients by their name, phone number, or email address. Each client has their own separate page inside of the software. And inside of the separate page, you'll be able to view all the dogs that are attached to this account, their total registration history, their transaction history, and their complete account history. In addition to each client having their own page, you're also able to navigate to each specific dog page as well. Again, each dog has their own page, and from inside of this dog page, you'd be able to view the registration history for that dog, their vaccine history, any notes that were attached, etc. If you wanted to send an email to a specific client, you could navigate to the specific client page, click the email client icon, and that would allow you to send an email to that specific client. You're also able to send out emails for classes and events as well. So if you're wanting to send out an email for a specific class or event, you can navigate to that specific page and send out an email to all the clients currently registered in that class or event. In addition to sending out manual emails, you are also able to set up your own autoresponders inside of the software. These autoresponders would allow you to send out an automatic email or alert to yourself, an instructor, or a client whenever a certain trigger had occurred. In order to set up a new autoresponder, you would want to navigate back to your admin module. Once you're inside the admin module, you would just want to click on the Setup tab, Settings, and the Autoresponders tab in order to be brought to your Autoresponders page. As I mentioned, these autoresponders would get sent out based off the trigger that was assigned. So, you could have automatic emails or alerts get sent out whenever a client registers for a new class, whenever their class registration is confirmed, or whenever an invoice is sent, etc. So as you can see, we've got a number of different triggers here. You are also able to set up email marketing integration inside of the software as well. So if you're wanting to send out a mass email to all of your clients, you could use that email marketing integration in order to do that. If you were looking to set up integration with your existing website, we currently offer a number of widgets that you could use in order to show on your existing website. If you navigate to your admin module widgets tab, you'd be able to set up your calendar widget, which would allow you to place your training module calendar right on your existing website. We also offer a class list widget, which would allow you to show upcoming classes in more of a list type format. Um, and we also offer an event list widget as well, which again would show upcoming events in a list style. You'll notice that in each one of these widget pages, there is a separate code. So if you were to go through and set up this widget and click save, it would actually update that code. And that code is what you would use to copy into your existing website in order to get this widget to show. In addition to that, we also offer a number of direct links throughout the software as well. So if you wanted to send a direct link to a client for a specific class registration, a specific document that you have created or uploaded, a registration form, etc., you're able to send that direct link to them. You can also use those links in order to put a direct link right on your existing website. As you can see, DogBiz Pro offers a large number of features that will not only save you time, but also help your business thrive. If you're interested in trying the software, you can sign up for a free demo right from our website. Hopefully that helps and explains why DogBiz Pro would be a great addition to your dog training business.